Good morning. Um, so today is Wednesday and um, recently on Wednesdays I have been working from home but I take the boys still to my Nana's um, and I will go work out before I come back home and actually work work. So I thought today I would show you guys um, maybe a little bit of the gym, a little bit of my morning routine before I go to the gym um, and then what I eat today um, while I'm home. So yeah, I just wanted to share this with you. Um, good morning. Um, it is 5.58 exactly right now. I'm gonna put my shoes on um, and make me some oatmeal and I'll show you guys that and then show you guys my pre-workout and all that good stuff. I am wearing, um, I haven't worn this um, since last summer, but this little like bra combo t-shirt from Zaya. I don't think they have this anymore, but um, it is pretty spring-like weather the past couple of days, so I thought this would be good to wear. Um, but yeah, so let me, let me get breakfast going and I'll show you guys that. take a package of these Better Oats um, 100 calorie oatmeal and this has 2 grams of fat, 18 carbs, and 4 grams of protein. Um, it's really easy. Take that and then I'm going to do one scoop of this um, Origins Organic Protein. This is in the chocolate peanut butter. I have a whey protein sensitivity so I cannot have it a lot. Um, I have to do vegan protein and vegan protein is really hard to find that is smooth. Um, so it just, it stinks. This one is so, so good. I cannot stop raving about it on my Instagram. I'm just going to do one scoop of this. I've done two scoops and it makes it, it's like a little too much. You know what I mean? Like it's just a little, mm -hmm. Um, yesterday, I usually just do water, but yesterday I was going to, um, decided to do almond milk and it came out really, like, creamy. So I'm going to do almond milk again today and you just measure it with this. It's really not that much almond milk, so. Okay, so for my pre-workout, I have been using the Alani New Breezeberry flavor, but Alani New just came out with this Island Crush, and I snagged it the day it came out, and I'm gonna try this today. Typically what I do um, is I take a little Tupperware that's like this big, I'll take this size Tupperware, fill it with some water, put a scoop of the pre-workout, close the lid, shake this up, and take the pre-workout like a shot versus um, dry scooping. I don't know if you guys, some of y'all don't know what that is, but people will take a scoop, put it on their like tongue or under their tongue, and then swish it around with water and drink it. I cannot do that. That is like, no, I don't care for that. Um, but I definitely understand the concept of like not wanting a lot of water on your stomach whenever you go to work out. It typically doesn't bother me even if I do it in a shaker, but I do like just taking it as a shot, getting it over with, calling it good. Um, today, I do. I went ahead last night, made me a shaker with water. It's in the refrigerator to take this um, so I can actually kind of like drink it, experience it, kind of like the first time I tried Breezeberry, the same thing. So um, I will show you guys that in a little bit. I typically drink this on my way in to take to drop the boys off that way it ends up being about 20 to 30 minutes before my workout um so i might have to do, just drink it and then give you my guys on the way and then once i get stopped somewhere give you guys my thoughts on island crush i'm really excited um it just sounds right up my alley so So here's my oatmeal. Um, well, okay. Here's my oatmeal. 
I'm gonna add in some peanut butter and banana and and that'll be my breakfast before my workout like I said it's really good it's really filling um, I definitely recommend one scoop of protein um, I know there's a bunch of different recipes out there right now and if you can handle whey protein you know consistently obviously just use whatever protein you like I just can't it makes my stomach Wow. I had two Alani protein bars like one Monday and one yesterday I was paying for it and everybody around me was paying for it yesterday uh, yeah so I'm gonna have this come on no. you don't want to go bye-bye no. you don't want to go get donuts no. Wow are you sleepy? Yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry. Come on, cutie cutie. No. Your brother's ready. <gasps> Bowen, you ready to go bye-bye? Uh -huh. <laughs> Alright, just stopped and grabbed the boys some donuts. And I'm also going to eat a blueberry donut. Because I want one. So yummy. No. <clears throat> okay, so obviously sorry about the super weird lighting. Um, I enjoyed my donut on the way in to drop the boys off. Most of the time, I always get them donuts every Wednesday to kind of mark like halfway through the week and just to like celebrate their last day with my Nana because they stay with me Thursday, Friday. Um, and most of the time I don't get anything. Usually about once a month I'm like, ooh, a blueberry donut. It sounds really good. So I'll usually grab a blueberry donut, eat one, enjoy it, and then move on with my day. You know, I track it, make it fit in for the day, and call it good. So, um, yeah, I just think it's important to enjoy things that you enjoy and enjoy life. And, you know, sometimes I miss out on donut day and sometimes I don't. And I like, too, that... I just have one, you know, and like, and I enjoy that one donut a lot. That makes sense. So, um, also finished my pre-workout on the way in. That was the Island Crush from Alani New, one of their new flavors, and it was so good. Um, so, so, so good. Definitely like pina colada vibes, so pineapple, coconut was like the two like biggest flavors I could taste. Um, really really good it's sweeter my like I said I have the breezeberry which is more on the sour side I would say and then this island crush is definitely more on the sweet side so nice to kind of mix it up and I just feel like Alani New does their flavors just impeccably well like it's crazy they're just so good so all right got to get off to the gym get my workout in get back home so I can get some work done and laundry done too such a good workout I only filmed obviously just that one little clip um, but I did do a power fit workout which is the workout program that I always do they have both gym and home options for all of their programs which is awesome um, so when I am in the gym I focus more on like strength training and weightlifting strictly because um, I can do pretty much anything else at home um, Holy moly, that felt so good. I had like the sh after workout shakes, which you know that's a good workout. Um, so yeah, so we're gonna leave here and head home so I can get some work done. Okay, so I took a piece of sourdough bread. This is 41 grams of sourdough bread. Yes, I waited. <laughs> a spicy um, laughing cow. This is the pepper jack cheese. I'm gonna smear that all over. I've got seven tablespoons of egg whites. I'm gonna put that on top of the bread. And I might top it with a little bit of salsa, but just eat the bread with the egg whites. So, a little protein, a little protein, a little carbs. Um, anyway, so I got some laundry going, 
and I'm about to sit down and do some more work. I have my laptop right here. Um, just tossed in some sweet potato fries into the oven for some lunch. I think I'm just gonna have sweet potato fries and probably like a ham sandwich um, today anyways. And then save my, I have those heat up meals, which is a local prep company, meal prep company. I have um, a bunch of meals from them in, in our freezer, but I'm gonna save those for uh, when the boys are here. So when I don't really have time to like sit up in the kitchen and make something without just chaos. Um, and then too, what we're having for dinner tonight um, is a little bit more carb heavy. So although I guess what I'm having for lunch is not the, the anyways, whatever, who cares? I'm fine. Um, I am in maintenance right now, maintenance calories. Um, I don't think I talked about that yet, but um, I am taking a break from my deficit. I've been doing a lot more research about reverse dieting and just the overall concept. And obviously it's really popular in I would say like the fitness industry. Um, and I've just been doing a lot, like it's literally a deep dive into the concept. And it is very interesting um, and very different, but um, I, I would like to do a video talking to you guys about all of it um, separately because it would just be too much for this video but um, so anyways I don't have to be as like strict um, or you know watch every little thing obviously still want to hit my macros still want to stay within my calorie range but I can eat more during the day which is really nice <laughs> um, okay so for lunch I'm gonna take one of these um, Santa Fe whole grain wraps there 100 calories for one whole tortilla and they're obviously super big they're you know an actual wrap and then I've got some um, Tyson black and chicken breast this is about four and a half ounces of Tyson black and chicken breast I'm gonna take some Frank's red hot sauce and a little bit of this bullet house classic ranch and like drizzle it on top of the wrap and then I've got some sweet potato fries in the oven so that'll be a good little lunch since I've been on maintenance I have my preferred is to have bigger meals and less snacks because I feel like I can hit my not only can I hit my macros a little bit better but I can also like eat enough calories for the day um because obviously I've been in a caloric deficit for a year and about three months. So I'm not used to eating all this food. It's just really crazy to me. Um, it's awesome, but it's just, you know, it's a little bit harder. Um, so this lunch isn't quite that many calories. Um, but for those of you who are watching who aren't in maintenance, this might be helpful for you. Um, and it's really, really good. Honestly, ranch and Frank's red hot sauce is just name a better combo like I'll wait just I'll wait you can't it's so good okay so here's my wrap ranch Frank's hot sauce um I think this ended up being about 100 grams of sweet potato fries but I did measure them frozen because they are a frozen food item um so and then two pickle spears and then um have you guys tried this <laughs> this is topo chico mineral water with the mio energy black cherry i can't find mio plain like not with caffeine black cherry um but i'm gonna, I'm gonna be on the lookout for it because i'd prefer this just to be not caffeinated but anyways it is what it is honestly probably good for a little lunch pick me up this is so crazy i'm sure you guys have heard of this but it tastes so much like a Dr. Pepper. It is truly bizarre. And I do three squeegees of it. It's crazy. I don't know. Like, I don't know. It's wild. So good though. So this will be lunch. Okay. Afternoon snack. <laughs> One of many. Um, a little fruit salad, strawberries, blueberries, banana with some frozen light cool up. I'm going to do two tablespoons of this okay and then i added in some um this flavor god chocolate donut seasoning it's so so good I ended up actually doing three tablespoons of the light cool whip mm -hmm. 